Who is that baby? We have the doctor. Doctor. Oh, hi. Yeah, nice, nice checkup. Yeah, a little bit of a cold, huh? Just trying to see the doctor. Maybe likes the crinkle paper. Hey, <laughs> Bree. What are you doing? Did you get a new toy? This is a Fisher Price Sit Me Up. I've always heard about these. Never have had one, but Avery's struggling a little bit to learn how to sit, so we're hoping that this will help her sit up, huh? She seems to like it. I think she's still trying to figure out, like, she's so short in it. <laughs> what do you think? So, if you can't tell, it's not the same day as when I took that first clip. Um... It's been a rough couple days, so I didn't, I took that one clip of Avery at her nine month pediatrician appointment. And then I meant to vlog the rest of the day because she also had like a helmet adjustment appointment and just like catching you all back up now that we're back from our trip to Miami. But um, Avery's doctor's appointment did not go well and it made me pretty emotional. So I gave myself a couple days to kind of compose myself. So I'm hoping I don't cry because I've been crying. So we went to Avery's nine month pediatrician appointment and I kind of had a feeling that it wasn't going to be a good one because when we had her six month appointment, her pediatrician was concerned that she was not even remotely close to sitting up. When she was at her six-month appointment, we would put her in the sitting position, and she would just flop right over. Like, didn't even try to sit up. <clears throat> and not that you should compare kids, because all kids are different, but my firstborn, he was sitting by six months. And then my second, I think maybe he took a little longer. Seven or eight months. So anyway, we went to this appointment, and... The good news is that her height and her weight are on track. She's like 63rd percentile for weight. She's like 86th percentile for height. So she's still super tall. She's gaining weight. Her head is small. It's always been small. We're obviously working on it with the helmet. But then he went on to asking about like developmental questions. And he said, oh, is she pulling up on objects on like furniture to stand? And I was like no not even remotely and he was like what like she should be doing that and then he said is she sitting and I said no she's gotten better at sitting which she has like just in the past week I've noticed like her back is straighter and she's more sturdier but she still is not sitting like I have to support her and he was concerned about that like she should be sitting by now and I was like well I try to make her sit and she just complains the whole time and she pushes back and she really just wants to stand, but she's pretty strong on her legs. So I was showing him that and he was like, well, that's great, but like she should be sitting. So um, he mentioned a program called Help Me Grow, which I've heard of it before. I think I've heard a lot of people use it for like speech, not so much physical things, but he said it's just basically a free program. Every county has it. I think every county has it and um, they'll come to your house and evaluate your kid and either give you tips and tricks on how to get them to where they should be developmentally or they can refer you to like physical therapy or different things like that. So he put in a referral for that. I already got a call from them. They said it'll be about a week um, before somebody reaches out to me to schedule an appointment. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure what they will suggest. Maybe physical therapy, maybe just getting her to sit more. I feel like I'm doing all that I can. So we'll see how that goes. Um, then the appointment just kind of got worse. And are you getting grumpy? 
I gotta get your bottle. I'm gonna get her a bottle. The appointment just kind of went worse after that. He was kind of looking her over, and there's been things that Avery has had since she was born, and they've just kind of, or things that have shown up over time. And they're kind of like, we're wondering if they are related somehow. Ever since Avery was born, we noticed that she has had a sunken chest. We call it like a pectus deformity or something like that. And it's basically just like what it sounds. Her chest right in the middle of her two breastbones is sunken in. And we've known about it. The pediatrician has known about it. We even, um, cause she has a heart murmur or we noticed that at birth. And so we got, we went to like a heart or heart specialist and they did an echo and all that stuff. So we've gotten that checked out, but like that was one thing. Then she's had like a weird head since birth. Um, when she was first born, like her plates were just really far apart. They ultrasound her head as soon as she was born. They didn't find anything with that. As she's continued to grow, her head was misshapen. So we did the helmet and that's helping. But we've been noticing that all babies are born with soft spots. There's like usually one on the back of the head and then usually one on the top. The one on the back I think is closed. But the one on the top, it's still there, which they say it can stay until like up to 18 months, I think. But it's very large. It's a very large soft spot and it doesn't seem to be um, closing or getting smaller. So that's kind of not sure what to think about that. And then also she has, well, we've always called it like mega mind. <laughs> Um, which is, she just has a very bulbous forehead. It's always just been like that. And also on her forehead, like the two plates, there's like a very wide gap between the two plates. So it's just like, looks like down the front of her forehead is just like a little like sunken in ridge, I guess you could say. And so that's kind of like what's going on there. And so all of that coupled also with the fact that she is delayed developmentally, the pediatrician is wondering if there is something more that we're missing. So he brought up um, putting in a referral to go see a geneticist, which started my spiral as you can imagine, because genetics, that sounds scary. Um, and usually genetic diseases are things that you can't change, they're in your genes, and so you're just stuck with it your whole life. And there's a million different genetic diseases out there, and so we don't know what she could have, what she couldn't have. Yeah, it just kind of set me spiraling, and of course I kept asking him questions like, is there anything that is popping out to you? Like, does anything come to mind genetically? when you look at her and of course he was like i don't want to misdiagnose her like there's specialists out there for that like which i get it like he doesn't want to diagnose her and then have it be something completely different but i was kind of hoping he would be like let me on to an idea because now all i have is google so he put in a referral to the geneticist i'm waiting for them to call me i'm not really sure where that's gonna lead i i don't i don't have any experience in this it's just scary because what if they tell me she has this lifelong condition that she's always gonna be have a harder life than my other kids i don't know you just you know every parent just wants a healthy healthy happy baby and now it's sounding like there might be something wrong it could turn out that it's just a bunch of just random things that she has and she's fine but I think we're concerned because she is delayed. Um, she does some things fine. She says da da da, which is appropriate for her age. She's picking things up, dropping things. She's not really using things with her pinchers. She's not sitting, she's not crawling, she's not pulling up. She also has no teeth. By nine months, my oldest had five teeth. My second had at least one. So that's kind of like, is that part of it? I don't know. 
So it's really kind of scary right now. I've been crying on and off about it. I think it's just like kind of set in. So I'm a little more like deadpan about it right now. But yeah, so it's kind of scary. We're not really sure what's going to happen. Um, but I wanted to keep you guys updated. Just more. It just feels like more bad news over and over and over again with Avery. Can't catch a break. <laughs> And we were hopeful that the helmet would be the last would be the last of our um, medical expenses with her, but now it sounds like we're gonna have to do something with the geneticist. And I don't know, maybe her heart murmur was a part of all this too. Of course, I've been going to Google and like googling genetic diseases that kind of fit her symptoms. I find all different things. And I know it's probably not even like worth my sanity for doing that, but I feel like I need to have some type of idea so I can brace myself going into that appointment as to what she might have. So my hope is that if she does have a genetic disease, that it's something that does not affect her life, that maybe we just have to do a little more physical therapy with her, or maybe we just have to do a little more work with her um mentally or like learning i don't know i guess we'll see so yeah that um wasn't so great of course the pediatrician told me don't stress about it don't worry about it um let's just wait to see what the geneticists say but of course me 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 i'm gonna stress and freak out the whole time i'm not really sure i don't have answers i don't like talking about it because i don't really have answers so Anyway, it wasn't a good appointment. I'm sad that it happened the way it did. But in the meantime, we're having Avery in this sit me up. We're gonna work on her um, sitting and getting stronger sitting wise. Um, we were trying to work on her crawling last night. So we're gonna do what we can at home and then just wait to hear and make appointments and kind of go from there. Um, we do have a, another heart appointment in a couple months when she turns one. Um, to get a checkup on that heart murmur and see how it's looking and so hopefully that has resolved itself and we can be done with like the heart issues but I don't know so anyway just wanted to keep you guys updated on that but in other news it's snowing we're supposed to get about an inch of snow today Yathe and I have a baby shower a co-ed baby shower that we're going to which I'm finding those happen more and more often that people are doing co-ed baby showers, which is interesting. My brother is going to come and watch the kids. First time he's babysat them, I want to say. He is bringing his friends. Hopefully they can handle it. <sighs> we'll see. My two boys won't be too bad. They just will watch things. It's the baby that's a little bit harder, but we'll see. My parents are renovating their house. And they want us to go and FaceTime them and like show them updates because they're in Florida. They stayed in Florida after we all left. So we're going to go to their house. So maybe I'll vlog a little bit here and there of our adventures today. But um, yeah, I wanted to keep you guys updated about that appointment. It wasn't good. Concerning Avery's helmet appointment, it went fine. They say the hel second helmet is doing awesome. So we've just done two weeks in it now um they quoted us four to six weeks so maybe we'll get more of an update when we go back in two weeks we go like at the end of this month so or no it's like mid this month so i'll keep you guys updated on that Da 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 ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 ba 